hello everybody welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be filming a what i spend in a week as a 25 year old graphic designer living in dc video i stumbled onto a video that i had made similar to this probably two years ago or so on my channel and was honestly kind of emotional at how far i've come since then and really wanted to film an updated one because i feel like i used to make videos all about like finance and budget and income and you know everything in that realm and kind of got away from that once the pandemic hit i feel like i've always had a really good relationship with money and have always been very savvy with my money uh, my parents did such a good job instilling healthy money habits into me from a young age that i feel like i've always had a good foundation with that but as i've gotten incredibly lucky over the past couple of years with pay raises and making more money from YouTube and other freelance work and stuff like that. I've definitely gotten a bit away from really intense budgeting like I had when I first graduated in 2019, um, which has been on one hand extremely freeing to be in the grocery store and not look at prices or, you know, sit there adding up the totals of things in my cart. Um, but I definitely want to start reeling it back in like stick to a budget a little bit more and kind of readjust my goals for saving and bigger goals as i continue to make more money and this just felt like a natural place to start which was kind of reevaluating what i'm spending on a daily basis and where i can cut money where i can save money and kind of adjusting my priorities based on that if you're randomly stumbling onto this video and just graduated college or are making that like 45 50k a year and are feeling extremely overwhelmed on how to make that work without outside support i would recommend watching those other videos that i filmed because that was me and if i had stumbled onto this video post-grad i would have felt I don't like it just would have been unobtainable for me then and i don't live this extremely lavish lifestyle now by any means but for me at least this level would have been unobtainable at 22 when i first graduated and i would hate for somebody to stumble onto this video and just feel discouraged so there's a million and one disclaimers i could put out there but i'm just gonna leave it at that before we jump into it i did film this between a thursday and a wednesday just because of my work schedule i knew i had an event coming up that i'd be eating out a lot for work um, it was right before Labor Day when this was filmed. So just like with holiday schedule and stuff like that, that Thursday to Wednesday made the most sense for everyday spending. I have everything written down here on my phone just because this was like three, four weeks ago by the time you guys are seeing this. But jumping right into Thursday morning, I took the Metro to work. So I pay $72 a month for my Metro pass, which equals $18 a week. I went ahead and just made this a blanket cost for the week. Um, I wasn't charged this week for the Metro, but I wanted to include it because it is something that I budget and a lot for each month. So $18 for the entire week. This was a pretty typical work day for me. I think I actually vlogged this week, but if you've seen any of my work week in my life vlogs, I usually make coffee in the morning at home and then buy a second coffee out at like 2 p.m. just to get outside of the office and walk around for a bit. So I was planning on doing that this day, but my coworker actually surprised me with a share tea on the way back from one of her meetings. So that was very kind of her and $0 to me. Then we also had an office lunch that day, which isn't abnormal, but isn't something that I would factor in on a regular basis. So this was $0 as well. Later that day, I met up with friends for trivia in Roslyn and got a couple of drinks and I think a quesadilla that night, which ended up being $36.80. So my Thursday total, including the trivia night and the Metro, was $54.80. Moving on to Friday, I also took the Metro to work this day, so $0 there. I got coffee for a work meeting, which I ended up expensing, so it was $0 to me, which I very, very rarely do. I feel like some people's companies have that included in a lot of their benefits, or it's just something that is like part of their company culture. That's really not the case for me, but I didn't want to not include it anyway so i did go ahead and expense that um which was nice for me and then later that day i met up with my friend kevin and we did this like mini dc bar crawl the first bar we went to was open city in woodley park and i got three drinks and we split a thing of fries which came out to thirty dollars and 55 cents which i feel like is a steal for a city happy hour especially on a friday so felt good about that then we continued our path. We went to a bar called Imperial. I got two drinks here and that was $42.20, which definitely more expensive, but that's 
more on par for what I would expect from DC, especially being a nicer end cocktail bar. And then we ended our mini bar crawl at Jack Rose and I ended up picking up the tab for this because I love doing that. That was something that I, when I first graduated college, I always wanted to do just because I had probably two or three friends that were just so good at picking up the tab. They just never even thought twice about it. Like we'd be at a bar and they would just get everybody a round of drinks and I wanted to do that so badly for my friends. And now that I'm in a little bit better of a place financially, that's something that I just really, really like to do. I also forgot to mention that his girlfriend and also one of my good friends came and met up with us. So I ordered three drinks for us and they took so long at the bar. I was there for probably 15, 20 minutes just chilling by myself waiting for these drinks and didn't say anything. Like they were busy, it was fine. It really wasn't a big deal that the bartenders felt so bad they kept bringing us free shots to the point where i was like you like thank you so much this was really kind of you but like i i am at capacity i cannot do anymore um which also helped justify the total cost of our bill in my opinion so i ended up spending 62 dollars 20 there i obviously took an uber home that night which was 11 dollars 97 bringing my friday total to 146 dollars 92 Moving on to Saturday, I woke up this day and made breakfast and coffee in my apartment, which I didn't include any cost for just because I honestly haven't gone grocery shopping in a really long time at this point. So that was just stuff that I had in my cabinets, in my fridge, and I couldn't pinpoint exactly what grocery trip that was. So I put that as $0 for this purpose. Then after that, I went to a workout class. I had pre-purchased a class pack, so it felt free to me just because it was already paid off on a credit card statement a couple of months ago. Um, but if you do the math, it comes out to at $28 a class, which is definitely expensive, but is another thing that I've really enjoyed being able to prioritize as I've gotten more financially stable is workout classes and just my general health. So I went ahead and did that. And then on Saturday mornings by my gym, there's a little farmer's market and I love the routine of getting a bagel after. So I went and grabbed a bagel from Call Your Mother, which was $5.63, which is kind of crazy considering it was just a regular bagel with cream cheese, but I actually really wanted that bagel and I don't regret it. It just, that's a crazy price I feel like for a plain bagel with cream cheese. Um, Later that day, I went and hung out with Riley. We just hung out by her pool, so that was $0. And then that night, I just had some friends come over for dinner. We had like a game night, takeout night, and my portion of that was $27.73. So total for Saturday, including the workout class and all of the food, was $61.36. That brings us to Sunday. I woke up and took another workout class, different workout class than the one I did the day before. So this was a separate class pack that I purchased, which was $30.02 because I had to buy wraps. It was a boxing class, so I needed to purchase the hand wraps and the glove rentals. So it was a little bit more expensive than I thought it would be, but honestly, I really, really enjoyed it. So no regrets there. After that, I came home, got ready for the day. I went ahead and grabbed a Dunkin' before running some errands, which was $5 because I just reloaded my card on the app and it was terrible. I threw it out. It was not drinkable. It ruined my day. It was such a bummer. And then I went about my errands without coffee. The first one on the list was TJ Maxx. I needed to grab more poop bags for Leo. I've found that they're cheaper there. I don't know if that's always the case. Um, maybe it's a city thing, but for me, they're significantly cheaper there and I get a lot more for the price. So I went in to grab that and then remembered that I wanted to grab a gift for my friend Haley. She had recently passed her boards and my friend Sam and I were putting together like a little basket for her to celebrate. And my portion of the basket was the actual basket and a candle, like some smaller things to go in it as well. So I ended up finding a basket and a candle. Both of them were insanely good deals and I spent $22.76 there. And then I went to Target across the street, grabbed some basic groceries for the week. Um, it was just out of like a few random things like dishwasher pods and grabbed a few more things for that basket for Haley. So that came to $59.07, bringing my Sunday total to $116.85. Back to the work week on Monday, I metro to work, again, $0. This day was one of my coworkers' last days with the company actually, so we went out to lunch for him. Him and I both love Andy's Pizza, so we obviously had to go there and just for time's sake we ended up ubering there and back we could have taken the metro but we both had meetings it was his last day like it just we were paying for the convenience of an uber so i got the uber there which was ten dollars and 89 cents 
the slices of pizza I got were $10.49 and then he grabbed the Ubers back to our office. Honestly, I don't remember much about this day, but I do have in my notes that it was an uneventful work day, came home, chilled for a bit, and then hung out at a friend's. So I guess it was a pretty chill Monday for me. My total was $21.38. Moving on to Tuesday, another average work day. I took the Metro again and I have written down that I was in a foul mood and the only thing that could save me was Zeke's coffee, which I actually do remember being true. Um, so me and my coworker walked over there and we usually go together and they just rung us up together. So I paid this time because I think she paid last time. She'll pay the next time. It eventually evens out. So that was $14.15. Absolutely essential for morale. Really, really glad that we did that. I did not pack a lunch this day. So I walked over to Sweet Green and grabbed a salad, which was $13.15. I remember being absolutely starving for the salad and then the minute I opened it, it was just not appetizing for whatever reason. I just like could not eat and I don't know why because I was hungry. It just like nothing sounded good. Like I said earlier, I was just not in a good mood this day and I ended up eating like half of it and saving the rest for the next day, which I never do. I normally devour my sweet green salads and arguably could eat more after them, but for whatever reason, I was having a day this day um pretty normal end of the day we had a formal happy hour for that co-workers last day so i didn't pay for my drinks it was covered by the company tab i only had one though because i signed up for an intro pilates class that day like three weeks before i knew that we were gonna have this happy hour for my coworker. ended up staying too late at the happy hour to get to the class on time via public transit or walking and i should have just left earlier but i like wanted to stay i should have just canceled the class actually but I felt bad and ended up Ubering there, which was super expensive for the distance I was going just because it was rush hour. It was $18.96. And then the class itself was free, but I had to buy socks for the reformer machine, which I knew, but I guess I assumed they'd be like three or $4 and that's on me. Um, they were actually $14.81 and I absolutely hated the class, had a terrible time. Um, I was in a bad mood already and I thought the class would make me feel better and it actually made me feel exponentially worse um thus this was just a day of l's for me and i wrote down that i regret spending all the money i spent today besides zeke's um and my total for the day was 61 dollars and seven cents and then lastly we have wednesday i actually drove to work this day but it was for a client project so i was able to expense that parking to ownership um, I had my leftover lunch that day as you guys were briefed on so that was also zero dollars and then after work that day I went to another orange theory class, which is $28 a class Bringing my Wednesday total to $28 even so the total amount of money I spent this week was $490.38 Which honestly felt a little bit higher to me than I was expecting just because I didn't think I had made any big purchases this week or anything out of the ordinary, which I am torn between being proud of myself for prioritizing my fitness and enjoying time with friends and living this less restrictive life that I used to hold myself so tightly to, um, but also finding the balance between that and investing my money wisely and making sure that I'm setting myself up for success in the future and continuing to live inside my means, which maybe just means bringing lunch two, three times a week instead of buying sweet green or, you know, finding smaller balances like that. Um, but yeah, I don't have a cohesive list of takeaways from this, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. These are some of my favorite videos to make and watch myself. So if you want to see more of these in the future or even the opposite of this, where it's just a week of insane spending where I know I'm going to be booking trips or I have a really busy work schedule, um, I'd be happy to do that as well. Just let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.